Welcome to Crypto Wise, a couple of wise guys talking crypto. Hello, Crypto Wisers. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Milton. I will be your captain for this episode. Okay, today I am talking about the next huge thing in crypto. In a couple of my past videos, I made passing reference to something called an IPO, an initial pair chain offering from Polkadot. Yes, this project is already super hyped. It's not like Uncle Milty is the first guy to discover Polkadot, but I am on the bandwagon. I love this project. And yes, the market cap for Polkadot is already huge. It's at $4 billion. It's already number eight on the charts. But I feel like this is just the beginning. We have just scratched the surface with Polkadot. And one of the main reasons for that is PLOs. And I need every crypto wiser out there to understand why PLOs are important, how to prepare for the upcoming PLOs, and what Uncle Milty's plan is going to be for PLOs. But before we jump into the good stuff, you know the drill. Please take a second, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to us, CryptoWise is a brand new crypto YouTube channel. We've been crypto investors since 2016. Like you, we are crypto fanatics. We live, breathe, and eat crypto, and we want to share everything that we discover with you. We want to help people who want to learn more about crypto. So please subscribe to the channel and give us a follow over at Twitter. Now let's jump into today's episode. What are IPOs and why are they so important? And you're like, I know, Milty, you said PLO a hundred times, but what the heck is it? So I'm not going to go too much into the Polkadot technology and how it's revolutionizing blockchain. But for more of the tech savvy crypto wisers out there, you should really read up on it. They are doing some amazing stuff. Essentially, this is Polkadot. This inner area is called the relay chain, which is kind of the main chain. And all these little outer dock stations are essentially parachains. So any project out there that is building for Polkadot can then try to lease one of these parachain slots. Think of it like this. Polkadot is the USS Enterprise, okay? It's the huge ship. And then these other projects are like these other little ships here. And they're all gonna compete to try to lease a parachain. And if they're successful, if they're able to lease it, then they're able to dock into Polkadot. And why would these projects wanna do this? Well, there are huge advantages for them to be a Polkadot parachain. They will get to take advantage of the network scalability, the security, the interoperability, and governance functionality. The Polkadot relay chain would be taking care of all the major elements of a blockchain that are the most difficult to build. So what does this mean for you? Those of you who have been in crypto for a while will remember in 2017, it was the ICO craze. A ton of people made a ton of money and lost a lot of money. Uncle Milty made a lot of money and Uncle Milty lost a lot of money. The ICOs are really what created that 2017 crypto bubble. And when it burst, a lot of people lost a lot of money. Then in 2019, we moved from ICOs to IEOs, where centralized exchanges, especially Binance, would raise funds on behalf of crypto projects. And that was a way that people could invest in these new projects. So now Polkadot has invented the IPO. This is a new way for you to be able to invest and support in all the new projects being built on Polkadot. If you head over to polkaproject.com, you can see an extensive list of projects that are being built for Polkadot. This community is huge. So not every one of these projects is going to want to have its own parachain. The smaller projects will work with the bigger projects who do end up having a parachain and they'll just plug into that project. They don't need their own parachain. Safe to say there will at least be hundreds of projects trying to bid for their own parachain on the Polkadot network. One project we know for sure is going to bid because they've announced it is Akala Network. Akala is a decentralized finance hub and stablecoin platform powering cross blockchain liquidity and applications. And their goal is to bring DeFi to the Polkadot ecosystem. So we know for sure Akala is going to be bidding on a parachain, but there are going to be hundreds more. And we're talking big projects and creme de la creme projects. These are going to be some of the most hyped, the best crypto projects coming down the pike. You are definitely going to want to be part of some of these projects. The reason I felt like I really needed to make this video now is because I feel like IPOs are coming soon. 
No one knows exactly when this is going to happen. But if you look at the polka dot roadmap, we can see that the current phase that they're on now is here. And the parachain auctions are happening here. My best guess is we start seeing polka dot parachain auctions by the end of the year. Why do I think that? Dan Reeser, who is super plugged into the polka dot ecosystem, put out this article on Medium. Gurara's approach to upcoming parachain lease offering, PLO, on Kusama. For those of you that don't know, Kusama is like Polkadot's crazy little brother. It's kind of like the Polkadot testnet, but it's not. They have an official testnet. That's something different. But Kusama is essentially the exact same technology of Polkadot, and it's where they experiment with certain things. So before you see something on Polkadot, you'll usually see it on Kusama. And it looks like from this article, the PLOs on Kusama are going to be happening very, very soon. For those of you who are interested, Kurara sounds like a really cool project. It's actually a sister network to Akala. And so it will be very fascinating to see how they approach their PLO, because rest assured, it will be how Akala does theirs on Polkadot. Okay, so how does this all work? Well, Polkadot put a great article out on October 5th explaining how this is going to work. Essentially, any project that wants to obtain a parachain will have to compete for it and win it in an auction, and they have to pay their parachain lease in DOT. So, if a project decides that they would like to bid for an upcoming parachain slot but believes they do not have the required capital for this, then they can create an initial parachain offering using the substrate crowdfunding model to accept DOT loans from any DOT holder. So this is how it works. If you have DOT, you can lend that DOT to any project that wants to bid for parachain lease. And if you are successful, your DOT will get held for the amount of time of their lease. The time frame for a lease starts at six months and goes all the way to two years. So a project would decide for themselves in advance if they are bidding for a six month slot, a one year slot, 18 month slot or a two year slot. And yes, you have that right. If you lend DOT to someone who gets a two year lease, your DOT is locked up for those two years. So because your DOT would be locked up for such a long period of time, you really need to believe in Polkadot as a project to participate in this. If you don't believe in Polkadot's long term future, then this isn't for you. But since I love Polkadot, and I really do think, other than Ethereum, it will be the most important blockchain project out there. I think that these are a huge opportunity. If you love Polkadot, another way to get involved with Polkadot, of course, is just by staking it. You can buy Polkadot and you can stake it with one of the validators or with an exchange that stakes Polkadot. And that's a great way of earning interest on your DOT. But this is why I think this could be a huge opportunity because the projects that want to borrow your DOT are going to have to make the rewards worth your time. So in theory, they're going to have to offer you something worth more than what you could get if you just staked your DOT. And why I think these are way better than the ICO model is that it's way less risk for you. So you lend your DOT to any of these projects, that DOT is put away for you you get that back guaranteed at the end of the lease. It says here, if the project is able to secure enough contributions to win the auction, then the DOT loans will be returned to the contributor at the end of the parachain lease period. If the project is unable to secure enough contributions and the auction is lost, then the DOT will be returned to the contributors immediately. DOT in this account can only be used for parachain bonding, and the projects are not able to transfer DOT out of this account. So that is so important. Polkadot is actually controlling the dot that you are lending to these projects. There is no way for these projects to scam you out of your dot. You will be getting your dot back guaranteed. We don't know specifically what the rewards will be for lending these projects your dot, but we do know that the current goal is for Polkadot to support up to 100 parachains. Now 100 sounds like a lot, but trust me, it is not. There is going to be huge competition for these parachains. So let's look again at Dan Reeser's Medium post about Kaurura to give us an idea what the rewards might be. In return for KSM holders' support, CAR, Kaurura's native token, will be distributed to participants via a para drop. So essentially, in this case, if you lend them Kusama, if they're successful, they win the auction, then you will be para dropped 
car. And it says the pair drop will be in fact over the duration of the lease via vesting schedule. And the amount of car that a Karura supporter will receive will depend on the level of support by the Karura supporter. This means that the Karura supporters can utilize the car received to participate in governance and staking while the vesting schedule is released. And I think this will be the most obvious way for projects to reward their lenders by creating a vesting schedule where you get paradropped their native token. Now, other than Akala, we don't really know what other projects are going to be trying to get their own parachain. But there's a lot of speculation and you can definitely make some good educated guesses. My guess would be that definitely Energy Web Foundation, Ocean Protocol, Plasm, Sora, Rio Chain, and Moonbeam will definitely be among the projects trying to get a parachain. So as you might know, you can already buy the token for a lot of these projects. And if that's your preferred route, that's totally fine. Buy the token for a lot of these projects, hodl them, trade them, do whatever you want with them. That's totally cool. But because I think the competition for the pair chain slots are, is going to be so immense, I have a feeling that the rewards they're going to have to offer supporters is going to be substantial, especially as DOT becomes more scarce. So if we think about the tokenomics of Polkadot, you're going to have about 50% of all DOT being used to support the network through staking. That only leaves the other 50% for these pair chain leases. And if there's going to be at least 100 of them to begin with, you can imagine that some of the bigger projects and some of the first projects, it will be easy for them to gather the DOT that they need. But as more and more projects need to collect DOT to get their parachain, DOT is going to be more and more scarce. It's going to be harder for them to obtain your DOT, and therefore the rewards they offer are going to have to be more and more. And that is why I am so bullish on this idea. And I'm sure that leads me into your very next question. Uncle Milty, what are you doing? Are you going to try to participate in these IPOs? Well, you've probably already guessed, yes, I am. So what is my strategy? I'm going to prepare. I've already started. When DOT launched this summer, I grabbed a bag. And I have been grabbing a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more as the price has dipped. Now, I haven't until recently owned any Kusama, but as part of my plan now, I have just bought some Kusama because I want to be ready because if the Kusama IPOs are going to launch before Polkadot, I want to participate in a couple of them to get an idea of how it's going to work. And yes, I will most likely try to participate in Karuru's upcoming PLO. One, because I'm really excited about this project. I love Akala and this as the sister network to Akala. I think could be a great project in itself, but I also just want to get a hang of how these PLOs are going to work and what the process is going to be so that when the bigger polka dot projects start doing it, I'm ready. So as well as buying a little bit of Kusama to be ready to participate in their IPOs, I'm also going to be continuing to buy DOT. If we look at the price of DOT, when it launched, it launched at about $3. If you remember, it was actually $300, but then they voted to devalue it so that one DOT then became worth 100 DOT. And so that put the price at $3. It went all the way up to $6.50, but since has come all the way back down. As recently as a couple of weeks ago, you could have got it for around $3.78. So not even that much more than it first came out. Now it's gone up a little bit and today it's at 440. It's had a great day today, but even at 440, I think this is a steal because once the IPOs start, you're going to have hundreds of projects trying to get their hands on as much DOT as possible. Now I'm sure most of the smarter project and bigger projects have just been trying to accumulate their own dot right now to just be ready for the parachain, but that's going to leave hundreds of other companies who need to get their hands on dot to be able to get a parachain. So yes, it's going to mean that I will be heavily invested in dot by the end of all of this. It will for sure become the third biggest bag that I hold behind Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that is Uncle Milty's plan for IPOs. I'm going to continue to accumulate DOT. I'm going to buy a little bit of Kusama and I'm going to be ready when these begin. I am going to participate. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned a little bit about IPOs and why they have such huge potential for changing crypto over the next couple of months and yes, years. As always, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Are you as excited about IPOs as Uncle Milty? 
leave us some comments in the comment section or reach out to me on Twitter. I'm always available. I always love talking crypto with all you crypto wisers out there. And please give us some feedback on the videos. Some of you have already, and it's been very useful. We do these videos for you. So any feedback you have so that we can make these as best as possible is much appreciated. And as always, if you like this video, if you found value in it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. This is Milton. Until next time, over and out. Thanks for watching CryptoWise. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.